project was an amazing success in so many ways beyond our wildest dreams to create a phenomenon that people on different continents are talking about simultaneously. There was, was hundreds of podcasts put together, there was thousands and thousands of blogs. It, it just kind of spiralled and, and into this massive snowball of, of, of excitement. During 2006, Channel 4 and the online design agency Hi Res worked with the creators of the hit TV programme Lost to develop an extensive alternate reality game called The Lost Experience. Essentially, The Lost Experience supplied fans with the background to the Dharma Initiative, the mysterious project being carried out on the island in the main show. This backstory revolves around the company behind the Dharma Initiative known as the Hanzo Foundation. A young woman by the name of Rachel Blake is determined to uncover the whereabouts of the founder, Alvar Hanzo, and in doing so reveals the truth about the supposedly altruistic Hanzo Foundation. At its peak, there were over 50,000 UK players actively engaged in the experience, and searching for the lost experience on Google delivered over 6 million search results. Rachel Blake, using the pseudonym Persephone, hacked into the Hanzo Foundation website over a period of six weeks, revealing truths about projects and the board of directors. I was blown away on a daily basis by just how passionate people were about what was being created and how complex their mystery solving became. So there were days where I'd come in and um, there were hundreds of blogs reporting on clues and being updated with information, gathering together, call, calling for people with different skill sets from um, physics degrees to maths, all sorts of different skills coming together to solve different bits. Once the Hanzao Foundation realised its site was being hacked, they shut it down. However, Rachel left a hidden URL in the site's source code. On the face of it, this site looked like an innocent travel blog. However, once a password had been entered, the site changed to reveal a daily video diary of a continuing investigation. Rachel shot a piece of video which she split into 60 one-minute fragments. Each of these was given a unique code which could be used to unlock the individual video fragments on hanzoexposed.com. In order to make the codes recognisable to the fans, we created hieroglyphics which were hidden across the world in on- and offline locations. The Apollo chocolate bar, which features in Lost, was manufactured specifically for the experience. Each of these specially created bars had a URL moulded into it, whereisalvar.com. Finders of the bars were then able to upload an image of themselves with their bars to the website. Listening to DJ Dan. The final phase was an internet radio broadcast by DJ Dan, a well-known US shock jock who's been following the investigation. During a live phone-in show, he took a call from Rachel Blake, where she revealed that she'd hidden the last video evidence on a site. What experiences like this mean is that people can still get involved in um, extrapolating information, sharing their passion with peers, finding other like-minded people, and that is something incredibly exciting that we would definitely like to explore further in the future.